So yeah, it's snowing out here, folks. But if you watch the title of the video, you'll know what this is about. Give you a real quick view here. So it's just a quick test mount uh, for the Wi-Fi extender antenna. So let's go ahead inside. Oh, and we did get a uh, microphone for the camera. Get some lights on back here. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. And as you can see, we have lots of snow coming down. So folks, this is what I ordered off of uh, Amazon. It's a Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 version 2, I guess. Uh, we're getting into some shadows there, but it's a Wi-Fi extender. So, what I plan on using this for is to extend our Wi-Fi, because even, like I said, even here at the house, we don't get hardly any signal here in the trailer. We'll, we'll check our phones before we hook this up, but I usually have no signal at all here in the trailer. Um, so I can use this at the house, uh, out at the campgrounds, and if I'm somewhere that doesn't have Wi-Fi, figure I can use our vehicle. Uh, I've got the Wi-Fi package in that. Uh, turn it on and connect to the vehicle. So this is what we're looking at when we open the box um, with the directions. I did add that blue plastic piece um, zip tied it onto the antenna base so that it will go on to my extension pole that you've seen when I came in um, that's pretty much all I've done so we'll get into the installation of this I did open some of the packages to see the cords uh, got the inside unit the cables all of that um, but that's how it comes packaged other than that blue plastic piece Okay, folks, so we got this open uh, So you can see here got the installation guide uh, It's pretty short and sweet uh, One thing it says that we will have to run in and get the laptop to get it onto the Wi-Fi from the house um, it says that you can do that through Wi-Fi, but I think the first time we'll go ahead and use the laptop with the little network cable. So the first thing you got to do, again, I added this blue piece to go onto our extension pole. Um, but this is the base of the antenna that goes outside. So you'll get your USB cable. You'll find the end, the wider end, that will go into the base of the unit. And then what you need to do, this screws into the base, so you need to get the Wi-Fi cable through this. And then there's a, another piece that has a groove in it. See if you can see that. That slides right over this cord, the USB cord. You see how that went in? Okay. And then you get down inside here. You see inside there, hopefully, where the USB cable goes in. You get that plugged in. You gotta get it lined up. Get that plugged in, push that down tight, and then this stays inside there also. Hopefully that's focusing. 
Can you see that? How that went together? Okay, and then this piece, let the cord dangle. This piece threads on right here, and it's got a rubber gasket. And we'll move up here. Try to get it on there straight so we don't cross thread it. Maybe hold it straight up and down to get it started. Again, turn backwards so we don't cross thread that. Okay, once you get it started, you just thread that in there. Like I said, you see the little rubber gasket. So it says to tighten this good and tight, but not over tighten. Because if you deform that rubber gasket, then it won't seal. Now, you see how it's open on the end down here? This will be in this position. So, water is going to go, any moisture is going to go down. But they do provide you with this little gray piece. What it does is it slides on over the USB cable. It's got a slit in it with a hole in the middle. It slides on and then it goes very tightly up in. And that's supposed to make your waterproof seal for the bottom. So that's that end of that. Now, this is the antenna end. Again, this is the antenna base that we're working on. Uh, the antenna is underneath this. In this plastic. So this is the antenna that will mount on top of that. So that just screws in. Now this we can make pretty tight. We want a good good connection there. Okay. And then what they say, they've got a little little thing of tape. Okay. And we're gonna put that around this connection. So that no moisture or water can get into that. So, let's see how that works. Maybe if I can get this little bag open. Which I never can. So. Need to put my glasses on here. Looks like there's a little plastic backing on this tape. Hmm. So it's just rubber. <coughs> Excuse me. So I guess get that started on there. And I'm gonna pull it good and tight. I guess what it's going to do is adhere to itself, I'm hoping. So I want to make sure and get that upper joint covered real good. All the way around. And then we'll work our way towards the bottom of that joint. Mm, without creating... Too much wrinkles, but we're going to get a little bit. And it is very much sticking to itself. In fact, I ripped it right there because I let it stick to itself. And I guarantee you folks, once it's on there, it isn't coming off. As you can see, I stretched it and got it against itself. And it's not coming off. So, I may have come up just a hair short there. I think we're all right. Um, I'll probably get some more of that tape, waterproof tape. But we did get the top of this sealed very good. Okay. 
so this unit is ready to go on and again I, I zip tied this blue this is a handle that goes on top of that extension pole that I've got outside figure I can pop it on here it's got a button to latch in and then I can raise this up again that's sort of a test deal I've got I got two of those the window suction cups uh, and I put them on the side of the trailer man they hold real real tight um, and then I just zip zip tied that uh, extension pole to those suction cups um, again I'm putting it up front here as a test I think once we get this set up and everything and we get out camping or even later when it's warmer outside and we can open the back I think that will be at the back of the camper and coming through to the back here and the uh, the inside Wi-Fi extender this We'll be back in the back here somewhere, but for today, we're going to use it up front at the counter. So this is the inside unit, okay? Uh, this is the front of it. Your USB cable from this antenna will come and plug into the front of this. They got the antenna for inside here for your Wi-Fi. That just screws on the back of there, okay? And then... It goes up like this, and then they've got two power cords. They've got a 110 volt, and they've also got a 12 volt cord. Um, I've got the option of using either one up front there. I do have a 12 volt plug, but for day for today, I think I'll just go ahead and use the 110. Um, we'll get it plugged in. So again, it just got your cord and of course it's all tangled up. I just need enough to get up to that plug up there in front over the counter. And again, it just plugs in here. Either one of those will plug in there. So then if you look here, it's got two ports for a network cable. Um, you got LAN 1 and LAN 2, and this is PoE, which is powered over Ethernet. So that one will send power over it. Uh, and again, once we get into the directions, they did send a short little network cable. Like I said, I'm going to have to run in, get the laptop. We'll bring it out. So we can plug this into the laptop and find our Wi-Fi here at the house and get this set up with the password and everything. And then from reading the directions, uh, you get that set up and then you set up your, you name your Wi-Fi here for in the camper. Of course, ours will be called Freedom. And then you set up a password for that. So then this will automatically connect to whatever Wi-Fi you've designated it to. And then here in the camper, you will connect to what we're going to call Freedom with the password. So it's a secured deal. All right, folks. So we'll see if this works out. Again, I put this blue, blue thing on here. So it should just snap right on here with the button right there and then we can loosen this and go up with it yeah. how high we need to go I don't know I'm gonna try right in there somewhere And tighten that back and then what I want to do as you can see they give you a real long USB cable um, which I've got tangled again but what I want to do is just try to drop it 
right inside the door here without kinking it too bad. But anyway, you can see it's up there ways. Now I can go way up with it, with that extension pole. It'll go way up. But, let's see. You just get it in here without screwing up that cord too bad. Okay. Alright folks, so now we're inside. See how I got that cable coming? It isn't kinking it at all. Um, and we'll come down here to the counter. And we'll work here today. So I'm going to go ahead and run in. Get the laptop. I'll be right back out. Okay folks. So we've got our cord ran in here. From outside. And again it's it's a really long USB cord. So wherever you mount your antenna. You'll have more than enough room. To get wherever you need. This device located. Um, again we're just going to put it up here. For this morning. For today, uh, here's a short little network cable that they sent to go from this unit to the laptop. Let's go ahead and first of all get the USB plugged into the front of this unit. So that's easy enough. It's just the USB. Okay. And before we plug it in, let's go ahead. It says to put this into the LAN 1 PPE connection. And then, of course, into your laptop. So, I guess all we've got left is to plug this unit in. Again, we got... Uh, power on the system now so then according to the directions we're going to open up a browser so let me get logged in here so we're going to open our browser and then it gives us a IP address that we'll log into. So here in the address bar, we're going to type in that address. Okay. Then we'll hit enter. And so what it does, it goes to a setup to access the setup feature. And it tells you here the default username is admin and the default password is defined by user um, so I'm going to put my password in there and it asks you to repeat the password and enter and we go into the setup So yeah, it's it's telling me that I'm not not connected. We got the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 status and it's got a five bar real strong signal itself. The USB wireless not connected. So internet status is disconnected up here. So let's just go to this easy setup and see what it does. Again, I'm just going through this stuff with you folks. Um, I already did this. I already picked pick my network. And say select. And put that password in again. I think what it is is my hotspot settings I didn't set up.
in internet configuration I didn't do this down here so I need to put in the password that I just assigned to this down here and then click finish and it's applying all the changes waiting for changes to be applied configuration applied and now it says internet status connected let's look at this so as you can see on here now this little Wi-Fi signal is on okay so I'm thinking what we can do now is unplug this from the laptop Let's go ahead and try that now that we're programmed as you see I unplugged the network cable that's still on so now what we can do let's just go ahead and use the laptop since we're here um, and let's just go to open a new tab and let's put youtube.com and I haven't connected the laptop but I guess it knew so here it says connect to the internet so let's try here Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 connect we're gonna have to enter our password And do you want your PC to be discoverable? Not on this one. And now it says we're connected. Let's go back to the and try to go to youtube.com. See if we get a connection. While we're waiting for that. So I've yeah I've got one bar on my phone blinking in and out so what I'm gonna do as you can see the the connections working doesn't look like it's super fast so Wi-Fi I'm gonna connect that I'm gonna enter my password on the phone And say connect. So it says we're connected. Went up to two bars. Still working. Three bars. Back down to two. So, I don't, I don't know really uh, how great that is. Let's see. Let's click on a video here and see if it'll play on the laptop. How to stop buffering issues anywhere, anytime, instantly. So it is playing. I'm going to just let it play a minute and we'll see if it does in fact go to buffering. So it's saying that we got a good, about a three bar signal now. Um, and again, I might be able to adjust that antenna outside up or maybe turn it. I, I think it's omnidirectional because it's just a straight up and down antenna. But I may be able to go up with it a little further and uh, get a little better signal. But anyway, so we're showing a, 
deal here. We'll let this play a second. It isn't. It isn't. Uh, let's skip the ads. We got Flying Sparks Garage on here. So they've got a big cargo trailer. They're talking about uh, converting somewhat. Of course, they'll be carrying vehicles in there. Um, but I'm I'm excited to see what they do with that build. Let's uh, let's pause this. Let's open another new window and see if we can get a speed test. And we'll just do a search for a speed test, internet speed test. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and start this and see what we come up with. Three point four five download. Which isn't great great, but from not being able to have anything. Why so folks, as you can quiet? see, I've been logged in a while now and I went ahead and logged in on YouTube out here in the trailer. Uh, and I find Emily from Flying Sparks Garage with a new video. So we're going to run this one a while, but I let it run for about 20 minutes and didn't get any buffering. Um, anyway, I think these guys are going to be working on their cargo trailer today. So be interesting to watch this. Be back here in a little bit. Got a little mess with wires up here where we just got this set up temporarily, but you can see showing 22 degrees outside, 76 in here, 29% humidity. Um, went ahead and shut off the uh, mini split. It's getting frozen up outside, uh, down in the 20s. So I've got the uh, little buddy heater just on medium and like I said it's 76 degrees in here and we just got the vent cracked just a little bit um, but we do have our carbon monoxide smoke alarms um, I do have a uh, propane detector that I'll be hooking up uh, and that mounts low to the floor but anyway, folks, um, we're going to watch this for a while, and we'll be back. So, folks, we've been watching YouTube and whatnot. Now we're actually streaming uh, live weather, and uh, that's been streaming for a while. It hasn't uh, buffered one time. So I think we're pretty good. This uh, Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 version 2 seems to be doing the job. Uh, once it warms up, We'll get the truck over here and hook up to that Wi-Fi and see how that works. Um, generally, we get a real good signal in the truck. Um, that's 4G. And that's usually got four or five bars in the truck. So that should transfer into here with this uh, Wi-Fi extender antenna. So anyway, why don't you come over here? Hello? And got this camera going. Folks, uh, not going to get into a whole bunch of other stuff. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, you know what to do. Um, again, we'll get back out here when the weather warms up. I think right now, maybe uh, we got some good TV going. Maybe we'll drop to bed, get up in the bed, watch a movie, and spend a little Valentine's Day together. Anyway, y'all have a good good afternoon, and like we always say, find your freedom. Y'all have a great afternoon. And Stay happy warm. Valentine's. Stay warm.